back to my channel, Real McCoy 411. I have did everything that was required of me from Yale last night, which was sim simply to sleep in a moisturizing overnight conditioner. And that's what I did. And you know, I paired it with my deep conditioner rice water or my leave-in conditioner rice water it can be used either way so this is my DIY and I paired it with the Myel moisturizing overnight conditioner and off the back off the back when I rinsed the, the overnight creams out of my head my hair felt moisturized off the back I was, I was like, okay, now I have to shampoo my hair. So let's see if it's going to feel moisturized after that bag. After that one, okay? So I shampooed my hair, and the shampoo was moisturizing. So we still cruising on moisture. We still cruising on moisture. Then I went in with the conditioner. I let this sit in my head. I know, I, I, I don't, let's see, it's 10 to 15 minutes. But I think I left this set in my head for like 30 minutes, just working it through, just detangling it and working it through. And it felt so good. It, it was one of those things where you'd be like, I wonder if I can use this as a leave-in. Or if I have to rinse it out. I think water going everywhere. Do I have to rinse it out? But the instructions said rinse it out, so that's what I did. I rinsed it out. Let me double check because it ain't never too late to go in there and put some back in. And this is an anti-breakage conditioner and shampoo. So, yeah. Follow up with Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger Leave-In Conditioner. Leave-In Conditioner? I don't have the leave-in conditioner. Huh. What do I have? The moisturizing styling gel. I do not have a leave-in conditioner from the Hawaiian ginger line. But I wonder will it work the same with the pomegranate? We're going to have to see. I don't think it should be a problem. But let's do a test. You know how you got to do a test. Put a lid on your finger. Put it on your hand and put a little. So this is the gel, the Hawaiian ginger. That's the Hawaiian ginger. And I think I, no, I didn't break it. Hold on. And we got the pomegranate and honey. I don't see nothing happening. I don't see no white balls forming. Nothing like that. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Maybe I'm just rubbing too much. Uh, no, it's not bad. It won't be bad. So I just won't be using a lot of the gel. Yeah, I won't be using a lot of the gel. Got to check with the mousse too. Gotta check it with the mousse. It looked like the mousse just cleared it up. Okay. So the mousse just cleared it on up. Alright, we got a good combination. So we're going in with the um, the Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Styling Gel. But first we're going to go ahead and do the Meow uh, Mael pomegranate and honey leave-in conditioner. We're going to do that first. So first I need to section off my hair. So whenever I shampoo my hair and have a conditioner, I always put my hair up in a bag to keep that conditioner working and keep my pores open. Okay? So let's check something real quick to like it. How are we gonna set our braids? That's look at all that grow. You see all that black? 
That's gross. Smells really good, guys. The smell is really good. Okay, so this is going to be the middle part of our hair. And we're going to start with this. Alright, we're going to put some gel on it. And I'm not using a lot of gel, remember? I'm not using a lot of gel. Looks like a lot. Trust me, it disappears. get my um, Felicia Leatherwood brush because this brush ain't gonna get it. Excuse me, Professor. Okay, so I just went on and um, got completely dressed for the day because I think this is gonna take a little more time than I than I anticipated. Shit. Okay? Because I do not want many braids. This is water, you know, with the uh, Jamaican black castor oil, as I am. Yeah, I'm waiting on this this bottle too. I just want to re-dampen that. When this bottle is done, I'll be putting in some of my own oils. I will. And still didn't get the brush. Well, I'll just be dog. I'll just be dog. <laughs>
Everything you do, see you on the next video.